Good morning, the faith I live by, April 19th, faith demonstrated by works. James 2.18, yes, a man may say thou hast faith and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works and I will show thee my faith by my works. The part man has to act in the salvation in the salvation of the soul is to believe on Jesus Christ as a perfect redeemer, not for some other man, but for his own self. Christ imputes his perfection and righteousness to the believing sinner when he does not continue in sin, but turns from transgression to obedience of the commandments. While God can be just and yet justify the sinner through the merits of Christ, no man can cover his soul with the garments of Christ's righteousness while practicing known sins or neglecting known duties. The Apostle James saw that dangers would arise in presenting the subject of justification by faith, and he labored to show that genuine faith cannot exist without corresponding works. The experience of Abraham is presented. Seest thou, he says, how faith wrought with his works, and by works was faith made perfect? Thus genuine faith does a genuine work in the believer. Faith and obedience bring a solid, valuable experience. Faith and works are two oars, which we must use equally if we would press our way up the stream against the current of unbelief. The so-called faith does that, that does not work by love and purify the soul will not justify any man. You see, ye see, says the apostle, how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only. Abraham believed God. How do we know that he believed? His works testified to the character of his faith and his faith was accounted to him for righteousness. We need the faith of Abraham in our day to lighten the darkness that gathers around us, shutting out the sweet sunlight of God's love and dwarfing spiritual growth. Our faith should be prolific of good works, for faith without works is dead. Hope you have a great day. Live in faith.